Hey guys, you may recognize me from the video where I traveled around the world and didn't shave my beard for 911 days. Uh, this video will be completely practical about how to get uh, shave gel out of a can like this uh, when there's no pressure at all. Before the trip around the world, I had bought a six pack of these. It's Gillette Series Shave Gel, so it's sensitive skin on it. And we traveled for two and a half years around the world. And when I came back, I um, eventually shaved my beard and I wanted to shave. And I found that uh, there was no charge left in these at all. Over time, somehow the air gets out and there's no pressure. So you can still hear that there's something in here, but there's no pressure whatsoever. So you squeeze it, absolutely nothing is coming out. So I started Googling, YouTubing, and I found uh, videos and instructions about how to recharge uh, cans like this. But I didn't find, I don't have any of those tools, so I uh, tried something a bit simpler, and I'll show you in this video how with just a regular manual can opener and a pair of scissors, and um, maybe this clip may help, but I'll show you why afterwards. I also have a bowl, just in case things get messy. Um, we should be able to open this and get to our shave gel. So, just a disclaimer, this may not be completely safe, I don't know, um, do this at your own risk, and uh, you, I don't know if it'll work the same with other cans, so just keep in mind that this is the specific type that I have, and it worked for me. So the first thing that we're gonna do is make sure that there's no pressure, because this is what's gonna make it uh, the most safe. There's no pressure in here, so there's nothing that can really explode, and then just pop off this top part. And then you can see you have this little plastic nib, I would again just try to push it and make sure that there's no uh, pressure. You might want to use something metal um, because just to make sure that it's not, you, you know, the mechanism in this plastic part wasn't broken and that there actually is no pressure in here. But nothing's coming out at all. There's no pressure in here. So, next step is just to take the can opener and put it on top here and just open this like a can. As soon as you um, puncture it, there's no pressure coming out at all, and I'll show you why. So I've punctured it, I don't know if you can get a little bit closer and just show the actually how it's opening. And just like a regular can, we're just going around the top of this shaving gel can, and it is almost open. Now, I think it is done all the way around. Now this part comes free, you have to be careful because there's one part, I've got one part still stuck there. So we're going to try to make sure we can pop that part off. And once you've got that part off, um, this part around the rim here can be a little bit sharp. So be careful, of course, with your fingers. And maybe try to just make sure that any extra sharp parts are not pointing out. Because inside here, the pressure is not actually in the metal part. It's in an extra plastic layer that's inside. And as you can see, I'm pulling it out. And be careful, because the first time I did it, it got caught on the sharp part, and it, and it punctured the bag. It actually almost seems like it's already been punctured somehow inside. And there's even like a little bit of like rust here at the bottom. Anyway, so this is just this bag inside almost completely full of shaving gel and I'm not sure how it leaked out because uh, inside the chamber there actually shouldn't be any gel on the outside um, it should uh, all just be in this bag so maybe we'll go and rinse this off now so I'm just rinsing it off here in the sink something is really wrong with this uh, with this one it looks like because that didn't happen the previous time, the inside was actually completely clean. Um, so, try not to wash these stickers down the sink. And then you can see there's a little bit of a puncture right here, but I don't think it's coming out of there, or is it? So if I give it a squeeze, okay, it's coming right out the top here. So what we could do is try to just pull this off that might work. Be careful again, because this metal is sharp and it might hurt your fingers. Alright, so I've removed this. This is not what I did last time. If you have a nice clean, um, if you have a nice clean bag and there's no leaks, then I think you can just cut off a corner at the top or on the at the bottom and then close it with your, uh, with that clothespin kind of thing or with a paper clip. 
just try to rinse this a little bit more. But anyway, as you can see, I'll just do that over the sink. The There's still lots of shaving cream in here and you can just squeeze it out and use it. So that's a, that's a very quick and easy solution to the frustrating problem of having your can lose all of its pressure. Because nobody wants to throw out, uh, you know, full cans of shaving gel or shaving cream. So I'm just going to try one option with this clip so that you can keep it in the uh, in your drawer, for example. A bit slippery. There you go. So all of your shaving gel is in here, and when you need it, just pop off the clip and squeeze a little bit out and close it up again afterwards. And you should be good to go. Let me know how it goes for you. Uh, be careful, of course, but as you can see, the way these are set up, even when you puncture this metal part, there should not be any pressure in the actual metal part. It's not uh, very strong at all, actually. Um, um, but it's not, I've seen some others where this outside part is actually plastic, but it is metal. I don't know if you can get a view inside. It's pretty dirty because of that leak. But uh, you can see that this one is actually completely metal. There's probably other ways to get inside the can, but this seems to be one of the most convenient and easy ways. So um, this is the second time I've done it, and I've got two more that are also fully discharged. So uh, I will be trying it again, and I wish you luck um, getting your shaving gel out. Um, that's it. Uh, this is not a typical video for our channel, but if you're interested in our trip or in our life right now, we live in uh, Moscow, Russia. Uh, check out the channel, check out other videos that we have, and, uh, and subscribe. We'll be happy to see you again. Alright, bye-bye.